Hi, this is Lindsay Whitaker from POV Solution, and this video is about how to add your registration marks to your PDF for digital and press printing. This is for POV to print your UV spot embellishment, and so if we are printing it in-house, you do not need to watch this as we will take care of it in-house. So first we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to Texture UV Embellishments, and we're going to go to UV Resources. On this page, we're going to be adding and updating as we go. Uh, as of right now, we already have a how to create a UV layer in AI. So designers, this would be very helpful for you. Uh, just make sure that when you do that, if you have full bleed on your document, that you leave us an eighth of an inch all the way around so it does not cut into the UV. That is very important. If it does that, you do risk cracking. Um, but for our pre-press purposes, we're just going to go right to here. And you, as you can see, I have a hyperlink. Go ahead, click that, and download that file. Once you download that file, save that into a folder that is for POV. And that way there, you know that this file will work directly. Just so you know, this file will not work for other printers as I use an XML file. And so the millimeters might be different. So be aware of that. In this folder, I have four different PDFs that you can use. This would be for 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17, 18, uh, 12 by 18, and 13 by 19. You cannot adjust, reduce, enlarge, cut, paste, copy, any of those things. This has to be exact. You cannot adjust this file or you will not, or it won't work. It won't match the XML file. So if you have a 12 and a half by 18 and a half document, you cannot take this 12 by 18 and enlarge it. Uh, it. It will not work. So please, if you have a different size, go ahead, call us. We'll coach you out on getting the size that you need for the print. There are some restrictions, so please go ahead, open up this file, and then you can see all of the parameters that you must follow. You do not want to go outside of these parameters because again, once you print it, and I put it through the machine, it will not work and we want to make sure that it's hundred percent. So okay we're gonna go ahead and get into this. First we're gonna start off with a digital and for our purposes I am going to use a business card. This business card is double-sided and the designer exported it out correctly with crops and bleeds showing those this is the printed piece. She also inserted the UV layers. So this one here, we are going to do double-sided UV. And as you can see, it has a screen, which means that the um, it will print a little lighter. 100% is the threshold. And then, I, and then from there, it can go lighter depending on the density that you have your black. As you can see, this is 100% black, so this will be the thickest threshold that we have. And so I'm going to go ahead and position it. Now this, this video is not for how to use your software and imposition stuff. This is just how to do UV. Okay, so now I've got my file. I've got four pages. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go to Tools, Organize Pages, and I want to extract and delete the UV layer because I do not need it to have registration marks on it. It's not necessary because I use XML file when I am printing it. So please go ahead and extract this. I'm going to select delete pages and now I'm going to do a file save as. I'm going to put this into my job folder and go to my to print folder which I always create. Now I'm going to create two folders. One called press. Now if you're doing digital, you'll put digital. And then another one called UV. This way here, whatever department knows exactly which file to use. Now I'm going to take it. Normally I have a job number I put in front of it, but for our purposes I'm just going to have a brief description. And I'm going to write which imposition I'm using, or which UV. So this one is 12 by 18 and this is tight. The reason I put tight on here is because this is the tightest that I feel comfortable going. It actually gives you a little bit more room than what is recommended. So I found that it works great and I can get more out on a page. So at the end of this, I'm going to put a hyphen. I'm going to put UV. And this way here, I know specifically this is the correct file to use. I will hit save. And as you can see, I now have that file done. 
and this is ready for the UV layer. As I do not have registration marks on here and that is okay because I don't need them. Now we're back to this file here. So I'm going to go ahead and as, as let's see, just two pages. So this is going to be embellished and this is going to be embellished and right here is going to be embellished. So I'm going to save as again because I don't want to save over the existing document. I'm going to go back into my to print folder and I'm going to go into my press. And again, I'm going to name it the same file. I'm going to add the 12 by 18 that's already on there. And I'm going to put tight so I know which reg registration marks I used and I'm going to put press. Okay so now I've got the file in here everything looks good now we are going to add the registration marks. You save the file down to a location this is a 12 by 18 so we're going to go ahead and hit tools edit and right here you see watermark. It might be different depending on what version you're using but even if you search you should be able to find it. You have to have full professional to use this. So click add. Now my my file already has some that are already saved settings. I'm going to show you how to do that. But normally it's already selected for text. We're going to go ahead and select source file and we're going to browse. And then we're going to go into our saved area. I'm going to I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to come back over to here and paste, hit open, and it doesn't like me, so <laughs> we'll do it again. I'll go into my downloads and date modified. Oh, good times. Okay, sorry about that. I did not extract the file. So make sure you extract it and save it down to a location, which I have done. And now I've got a 12 by 18 tight. So if you select that, you can see it is in portrait and that's okay. We'll go ahead and hit open. And as of right now, you see these little guys right here? So it is reducing it down, trying to make it work. So very important, you want to uncheck this box. Now what you see are the registration marks because it is in portrait and we are doing a landscape job. We are going to rotate, but first we're going to save settings. We're going to name this 12 by 18 and we're going to call it UV Reg and we're going to do land because this is I'm sorry, we'll do portrait first because this is a portrait version and we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And now we're going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees. And you can see that it is directly across the page. That's what we want to see. But before you do this, go ahead, click Save Settings, 12 by 18, and Reg UV dash land. So anything that you do that is 12 by 18 UV with landscape. Go ahead and hit OK. And anytime you're in here, you can go ahead and say, OK, this is the one I want. And click here. And as you can see, and it's very important that I point this out right now. You see how here it knocks out. Well, there is a white circle behind it. For any reason, if you see this registration mark and it's over printing, it will not work. It has to be a knockout. Um, I have right here, you can see that my bleed is right there. As long as this registration mark is not past this bleed mark, you will be fine. It will read it and that's why I made these as tight as possible. So you can see that the registration marks are on both page. Now let's say you are doing uh, single-sided. It doesn't matter. Just keep the registration mark on both pages. So we've already saved the documents. So we're going to save again to make sure that we have this. Now if I'm going digital based, I am ready to print. So I do suggest that you do have POV do a sample run as sometimes you feel like, okay, this looks good. When we first did this logo, it was 100%, but then we knocked it to 50% because it was just spreading so much in the word solution. And so we did change where we wanted it so we made that 50% and then on this page here we did create our, our uh, UV layer so it was 100% but you could do different densities so it gets different layerings so just make sure that uh, you do have a test print before you go any further. 
So that's it for digital. I'm going to move into press mode now. I do suggest you watch the rest of this. Um, as in closure, I will say a few other points. And I use Quite Imposing for this software here. And um, any of my digital runs, that's standard. It's it's pretty easy. And then also for my press, we use Impo2. So we're going to go ahead and go into our imposition. Okay, so now I've got my template open. Again, I'm using Impo2. This is laid out for the specs of my press. I have my gripper here. I've got my color bars here. I've got my text tag here. So I have a, I have a uh, 1925 document, and this is a 12 by 18. As you can see, I'm very tight here, but that's okay because my imposition is already you know, done and I don't need a gutter because there is no bleed. We'll do chop cuts and my reg my uh, crop marks will be on the tail of the sheet. So binder will be able to see that. That's not an issue. So they'll be able to cut this exactly to 12 by 18. So we can go ahead and UV, uh, do the UV on this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my, my file. And my file is going to be, we're going to go to that to print folder. And right now we're going to go to the press because this is exactly why we named it press because this is the file we want to use. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And then I'm going to go back into here and I can see that it's already in there. And let's close out of this and minimize this. And you can see that now I've got it running head to head and my registration marks are on there. Everything looks exactly how it should. And now I'm ready to save as. And this way here, the next time I run this document, I have this file. So from here, you would just output to your RIP however you normally would. And it's that simple. Basically, you start off with an imposition. You add your registration marks. And this way here, um, and let's just for just to show you how quickly it can actually happen. So I am going to open up my file, go to Tools, Organize Pages, Extract and Delete, and then Save As, and just take it all the way th through to print to new folder press UV I'm in the UV folder take this delete it out name it tight UV go back to tools and we'll close out of that that's ready to go do file save as Go back into this folder here to print to press and name this tight press. Go back to your tools and then we're going to go ahead and edit. And since we have the watermark already saved down, oops, seems like it's thinking. Go to your watermark add and just drop this down and since we know it is 12 by 18 landscape hit OK and then file save and this is ready for digital and then again if we were going into the press mode we would just open up our existing template that's got a 12 by 18 head to head for a work and turn and go on your 1925, make sure you still have your text tag, your color bars, and your gripper is accurate for your press. So I hope this was helpful. I know this is a longer video than normal, but again, this is pre-press and we want to make sure it's right. So I do suggest a couple things. First, you send us the file. Second, if you have any, um, if you have any different sizes, we create it for you and send you out the PDF for you to do the watermark for. If any of this is confusing at any time, please call us. We can send you a PDF that's got the registration marks already added to it. So again, we can quote you out on that. We do have a Facebook page, so please follow us on Facebook and also 
subscribe to this channel as we are always updating videos, tutorials, and different promotions. Thank you and have a wonderful day.